Again, we're dealing with fog. It is a wet and rainy day today. So we have a couple exposures we want to take a look at. And we only have about 3-4 hours today so we thought this would be a good spot to check out. Up here you have an oxidized zone. You can see that giant exposed rock there. You have a schistose rock, which is running at this angle here. Sulfides throughout your schists. You have a gap. And then there's more oxidization and stuff over in the corner here. So we're going to take a sample from this zone over here. And then we're going to take a sample from that zone. So you can see the oxidization. You have a uh, sericite schist here, which is combined with a chloratized schist. So, so far we haven't found any definite sulfide veining, but uh, there's lots of disseminated mineral, primarily pyrite and calcopyrite, which is mineralizing your host rock or your schists. We got uh, a bit of sulfides on this piece here. Do we ever? Loads of mineralization. Look, there's another piece here with loads of mineral. So uh, we'll take this, expose this area a bit further, and we're going to be doing some testing today. And we're also going to take a bunch of this dirt here. I think we'll pan a bit of it out because I'm noticing what looks like little bits of free mill gold. You got some quartz in there with your sulfides. Ooh, that's a nice, beautiful samples here. Little sulfide vein right there. I think the primary one is right here. The vein is about 15 20 centimeters wide, so a decent sized vein. Looks like this one might have more mineralization on it. We got this big honker of a sample here. So just a loaded piece here. I'm seeing primarily calcopyrite mixed with pyrite. A little difficult to point out, but uh, looks like most of the stuff in your actual vein here is pyrite and a lot of the stuff that's disseminated throughout the schist is actually calcopyrite.
So there's definitely free male gold in this. You got some right there. Really difficult to tell the, the difference though because it's a little bit oxidized from all the uh, pyrite. So I think what we'll do is we'll take a bunch of this, we'll uh, crush it with a hammer, put it in a pan and uh, see if we can pull out any gold. There's a small creek nearby so we'll pan it out. But for now, let's go uh, check out that second exposure and pull a sample off there. Prospecting partners up there, hammering away. Again, no solid body of mineral that we can see, but Loads of disseminated sulfides. You're grabbing a sample up there. Throwing the samples to me. We'll take a look at some of the ones he's already found. Got it. You have pyrite there. These are some of the samples we found up there. Here you have a solid mass of coarse green iron pyrite. Again, it's going to be really difficult to see because of the wetness. This is another solid mass here on the end. So quite a few samples. Large number in here too. Maybe we'll rinse these off in the creek and uh, do another quick show. So, lots of samples. Let's uh, head down to the creek now. We pulled a sample of the material off. Crushed some of them. Pulled some material from the base of the exposure as well. There's one right here. Grab sample, you got some sulfides on there. Have to hammer this one open and see. Seeing quite a few on the road here. Looks like more mineral in that one. More here. Sample number one, sample number two, sample number three. This is going to be the one we pan out. So let's head down to the creek. So there is going to be some decent gold in here. We saw some nice little specks. Fighting the water current a bit here. Down to sulfides, so we're just going to pan a bunch of those off. Loads in here.
All right, let's take a look at that. Whoa! Look at that! That's some coarse gold. That looks really pure too. Really, really nice for a single pan of that material. We're gonna have to go back there and uh, pull some more for sure. That is some nice gold. More fine gold in here too. No doubt there's some gold in the sulfides maybe. Super, super nice gold. All right, let's take a look at some of the samples now. First sample here. Clean them off in the creek a bit. So with that last pan, expecting really good gold results. You can see you have gold in here. Got to be at least a few ounces per ton. So that's the first sample. We'll post the assay result. Maybe right up here. Second sample, we'll post the assay result right here. You can see loads of sulfides. This one doesn't look like it has as much gold. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 15 minute journey back to the road, to our vehicle. Gotta love hiking in the night. <laughs>